Lorenzo backstage. Hello, welcome to Sofia, capital of Bulgaria, a small, beautiful country on the Balkans and the European Union. My name is Peter Dimitrov. And I'm Mila Georgieva. And we're both organizing the biggest jazz festival in our region, A to Jazz. We want to tell you some things about our beautiful city and its vibe. And we're going to start from this building, which is the National Palace of Culture, a late communism pride as an architecture. It is the biggest Congress Center in Southeastern Europe. We host here everything you can imagine, from concerts to exhibitions. This is probably one of uh, yeah, the most important points for us. So now we're going to show you our city and its vibe. Let's walk around. Sofia is one of the greenest capitals in Europe. Actually, for five years or more in a row, it was announced as the greenest EU capital. And that's why we are now in the Sofia City Garden, which is surrounded by many, many cultural places like uh, the Sofia City Gallery, the, the National Theater, the Bulgaria Hall, which is the home of uh, Sofia Philharmonic Orchestra, the Palace of the Former King, which is now the National Gallery. So we have thousands of parks and small gardens and people love it and enjoy. And this one is special with something. It is the, the oldest and classical spot for the street chess players that they have their own spot here in the garden. So welcome to the Vienna part of Sofia. This is the National Theatre Ivan Vazov and the building was built in 1907 by the Vienna architectures Hermann Fellner and Ferdinand Helmer. And it's from the period when Bulgaria was a monarchy in the beginning of the 20th century. So we are here at the garden called King's Garden because it is the, at the backyard of the King's Palace. We were a kingdom uh, uh, till the end of uh, Second World War. So he used to live here before his uh, mystery death uh, during the Second World War. Uh, so now here is the National Art Gallery. Because we are on a crossroad in Europe, this is the main road that connects uh, Europe with Asia. We have always have uh, different occupators, starting from the 500 years of, of uh, Ottoman occupation here. Then the old influence uh, of uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire in the end of 19th and beginning of 20th century. And then we got the communism. So that's why I, our art during the years has been influenced by all these uh, situations we have been in, uh, into. But uh, all of our art is somehow has been always connected with our folklore stories and folklore, which is a very, very strong thing in, our, in this part of Europe.
Here we are in front of the building of the National Opera and Ballet in Sofia. We have built quite a name during the years in the opera singing with very big names like Boris Christov, like uh, Gena Dimitrova, Nikola Guzelev, Nikolai Georov. Now we have Sonia Yoncheva, which is in, uh, she is in Met Metropolitan Opera. We have uh, quite good school, even though that uh, the first opera company is uh, established in the late 19th century here due to our recent independence from the Ottoman Empire. Now the opera is closed and it's empty because all of the musicians and singers and ballet are at the Opera Summer Festival which is situated around the lake nearby Sofia and all of them are there singing and playing and enjoying the weather. Here we are at the Largo, which is actually a very interesting place uh, built in the last few years because Sofia is actually over an ancient Roman city called Serdica. So in the center of the city, everywhere you dig or you go under path, you're going to see all this uh, different uh, archaeological uh, stuff from this ancient times. But this place is also used, exactly this spot, for some concerts, some exhibitions and some other cultural events. For me, as mayor of Sofia, the investments in culture is, are always important for several reasons. First of all, the most important thing for us are the people. The culture makes the life of the city, the environment. Secondly, for me, investments in culture are investments in better life of people and investments in the economy of city. And thirdly, lastly, but not as an importance, it educates and it learns in principles and values, it educates in tastes. This makes our city very spiritual, very beautiful and very accessible. Green policies are really something close to my heart. As you can see, we make everything possible to preserve, maintain and develop the green system of the city. We maintain those parks, we develop the parks, we make sure they're easily accessible and this is why a lot of festivals take place there so a lot of people can enjoy the atmosphere. I've visited quite often and I've enjoyed several occasions uh, when I went to the A2 Jazz Festival. This is one of the most festive uh, events, cultural events in Sofia, one of the biggest, not only for Sofia but also for the region. Hey again, I would love to show you now Sofia by night. Now we are standing on the middle of Boulevard Vitusha, which is named on the, our beautiful mountain over there. This boulevard was full of cars 10 years ago, but now it's really beautiful pedestrian area. You can enjoy the great bars here and the great vibe of the people. Come with me, I will show you Sofia by night right now. This area is one of the oldest in Sofia with a lot, of, a lot of shops around and a lot of bars. Let's meet a lot of friends there.
We're on the stage of A2 Jazz Festival, one of the most significant jazz festivals in the Balkan region. We're so proud with the Bulgarian A2 Jazz because we're welcome here more than 45,000 people, young people, mostly of them. On this stage, we had Bradford Marsalis, Roy Hargrove, Kenny Garrett, Robert Glasper, Jacob Collier, uh, Christian McBride, and a lot, a lot of amazing international jazz stars. This year, we're waiting for John McLaughlin and Four Dimension, uh, Snarky Puppy, Roosevelt Collier, and Johan Shahin. This selection is one of the greatest selection Edo Jazz has ever had. We started Edo Jazz in 2011 in the small, beautiful garden in a city center, which is called the Doctor's Garden. We did it as a, a jazz garden party. We expected no more than 500 people because it's a new festival, it's a free entrance and it's in the garden, it's not something very special. But more than 2,000 people came to listen jazz. Now, we have more than 40,000 people on this new place. This is not the doctor's garden. <laughs> this, is, this is South Park 2 in Sofia. It's really, really huge place, really beautiful. Behind the stage is the Vitusha Mountain, which is our background, which is amazing. And this is the, the so remarkable for Sofia. And so I really believe that this business model we, we built last 10 years is really successful, especially for Bulgaria, because uh, it's, uh, it's uh, something new, something unusual, because we don't sell tickets. Because of the reason, the mission of the festival is to attract more and more young people, new audience to the jazz, uh, and to uh, promote jazz and beyond music to the youngsters. That's why we, we put the slogan of our festival, which is Sofia is Jazz. Enjoy! Backstage.